Park College. What an incredible place. Ranford Hopkins here. It has been my proud honor and privilege to serve Moore Park College as a professor of United States history and African American history and some other histories as well. The college has, of course, undergone amazing changes over the last 50 years. To understand Moore Park College, you have to understand its people. You have to understand its students, faculty, and administrators, and of course, its staff. In my mind, our mission kind of really started in 1960 as being an open access place of higher learning. In the early 1960s, the population of the county was so big that the uh, voters of the county decided on opening up a second college. The site was selected in 64, they chose a name, Moore Park College, and uh, construction began in 1966. And then of course we were open for business um, in 1967. It was my great privilege to be on the founding faculty of one of the finest colleges in this nation. Dr. Collins, the first president, uh, Dr. Moore, uh, Dr. Lombardi, Dr. Heron, and they gave us a lot of liberty and a lot of freedom to be creative. In fact, Dick Moore told us at the very first meeting that the faculty was together, that we had the privilege to be innovative and creative, to take chances and risks, to do things and that they would have our back. And he said, it's okay to fail. He says, it's better to fail than not to try. That was a time when there was no tuition. It was 1971 when I was hired. I organized along with a social science faculty member here, wonderful man, Steve Herzog. We organized a protest against uh, Nixon here at Moore Park College. I was with a number of people who shared our political perspectives without any hesitation, if it came up. I never saw it, but I used to hear stories where faculty would go out to the fountain back when we had water in it, and they'd get in canoes and they'd race each other across the fountain. <laughs> we don't do those kinds of things anymore, so it's kind of too bad. We used to have um, the animals come through from Edom, walk through the buildings, and they would sing Christmas carols. And <laughs> it was just, we'd walk out and there'd be monkeys in our trees or the sea lion in the fountain, and we can't do that anymore because of all the security and the safety measures and accountability. and. It's just shifted. Well, when I first came to Moore Park College, so that was 1983, Moore Park College was really known as a, a pretty white place. And uh, that has completely changed over time. Since then, we have many other groups of people, though. We have veterans, for example. We have foster youth. We have people of various um, cultures, various traditions, various religions. Um, various sexual orientations, all these things have come together at Moorpark College to make this really a very rich place. I am particularly fond of the Earth Shell that was constructed many, many years ago by a professor named Gerald Bridgman. And he got a group of students together and created this really elaborate and very rigid metal structure. And then on top of that, they just smeared this whole layer of concrete. Never would have gotten a permit if you would have asked ahead of the time because it's such an unusual structure. That's kind of how Moore Park was and to a certain degree it still is. You know, you kind of like do your own thing. When the college first began, most people did not even know where the city of Moore Park was, let alone anything about a Moore Park College. Today, Moore Park College is the number one transfer institution in the state of California. I feel like when I walk onto campus, I'm walking onto a temple grounds. This is a place that we have set aside for learning, for peace and quiet and the love of learning. What I see is a sacred place of learning, a refuge from the workaday world where we could take an hour or two during class to just devote ourselves to some intellectual pursuit, which is, I think, a great luxury and one that everyone should have some time to do. In 1994, we started to plan the Performing Arts Center. It was really neat to be moving from a tiny little space to a full stage with a fly system. It was a huge learning curve for me. Being a college president is a, is a unique experience from a lot of different perspectives. We had the opportunity in 2000 to pass a bond issue called Measure S. But we spent days and weeks and months and almost years planning all the new buildings that we thought we would need. 
a lot of my friends would say, what's it like to come and work in a park all day? Uh, I mean, it's just, it's a gorgeous setting. It changed my life in many ways. To me, what's more beautiful is the culture. And the culture happens because of the people who come here to teach, to serve students, to learn, to lead. Um, they bring with them every day to work their professionalism and competence and kindness. We moved into a new century with a new appreciation for academics, for career and technical education, and the need for growth. Programs such as athletics, child development, EDEM, which stands for Exotic Animal Training Management. Now that is a mouthful. Also, forensics, honors, nursing, theater arts, all of these continue to bring our college statewide and national recognition. When I think of Mopar College, I think of students being civil and uh, cordial to each other. Um, you know, students focusing on, on their academics and following what what their goals are. Moorpark College has had a great influence on my life. Ever since I got here, I've developed great relationships with all my professors, and I've been able to get involved on campus due to their philosophy called Students First. But I think at Moorpark, we really try to believe it and always go back to it. So I've been here a while, and there's some very difficult decisions we've had to make. Um, and every time, if you just think, you know, with a student's first philosophy. What would students see here? What would help the students? It really makes it very easy to make the decision. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I am very pleased and happy and proud to congratulate Moore Park College on the occasion of its 50th anniversary. And we are all looking forward to another 50 years, at least, of continued success. How do I see the college changing over the next 50 years? We're going to be renovating the gymnasium in the near future. We're going to renovate our, our um, campus center and bring back a cafeteria or food court for our students and employees. We are anxious to expand our zoo. We're trying to get off the ground. More Park College promised scholarship to provide incoming students, particularly those from uh, disadvantaged economic backgrounds, a free a tuition free first year college experience but in some respects we hope to keep doing some of what we've been doing all along for another 50 years which is to help our students prepare to transfer to great universities and to go into great careers i want you to take a moment just take a moment to reflect can we agree that more park college has been and will continue to be an outstanding academic institution i think so Happy 50th anniversary, Moorpark College, and here's to another 50. Go Raiders! <laughs>